Next up, we have a play called <laughs> President Chaos and Indecisive Eddie, which I hear was written by a very cool person who definitely doesn't know how to spell the word indecisive. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I live in. Uh, let's see, I hate my friends. I really hate my family. Um, oh, I just wish, I wish that I could make my life more meaningful. You know, it's just, I'm making pennies right now in the strip mall, and what makes it worse? I can never win any one of those prizes in those friggin' arcades. <laughs> That drives me nuts. It's just so, so hard. So hard to live. I mean, think about it. My, my music is too dry. My, my milk is always sour. My, my, my veggie smoothies are always too leafy. And my heater never puts out enough heat. My air conditioner never puts out enough air. I mean, I should stop complaining, but what should I do? What do I want to do? That's, if I can answer that question, then perhaps I can finally be happy. I can technically do anything I want, can I? <laughs> I mean, think about it. I could be, I could travel anywhere I want to in the world. Well, that's not right. I, I hate airports. So <laughs> I could be a football player. Ow. Okay, no, can't do that. Um, I can be a fireman, except I'm afraid of fires. I can be a veterinarian, except I hate those fuzzy bastards. <laughs> I could be, I could be a pilot, and I'm deathly afraid of heights. You no, know, I could just become a, a little baker somewhere, living a quaint little life. But I can't bake, and I don't have a wife. Wait, a wife? I don't need a wife. Do I need a wife? Do I want a wife? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I feel like that would be a lot of pressure, and I don't even know. Maybe I would want a husband. Maybe I'm gay. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, I'm just, oh, God. I'm so confused. May 8, 1996, Washington, D.C., 5.34 a.m. President Wanda Gardner prepares for her day. What the heck am I doing? Oh, I forgot my daily caviar. Oh, Pepe! Yes, madame? <laughs> my caviar, please. Uh, yes, of course, madame. Here you go. Uh, it's a big day today, madame. Hmm, it is a big day, isn't it? A big day it was indeed. 
Rwanda Gardner of East Hampton, Massachusetts, the first ever female president, was going to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, perhaps the first of its kind. But to understand that, we must first meet Nancy. Hello, suckers! It is I, Nancy. Nancy Chaos. And it's time for you to say goodbye to all your mothers. And everyone else, of course, but the mothers are phase one. And now, time to buckle your seat your seatbelts for some terroristic fun. And now it shall be the time for you to walk the plank. Nancy's mission was to end everyone's lives for their own salvation, and though she knew this was crazy, she fully planned on doing it anyway. She disguised herself as Pepe, President Gardner's faithful French assistant, and she got into the government in order to steal the nuclear codes! Say hello to me and my super-secret cybernetic hacking team. Together, we make up the, the Midwest fireworks. Or something like that. <laughs> Huh. Anyway, our plan is to work together to hack the government, to steal the nukes, and to lay waste to all of you kooks. Their plan was to hack into the government, hijack into the nuclear missile system, and then explode all... all you kooks. How are you doing, boys? Am I making too much noise? Nah, no, you're good. No, we're actually fine, but thanks for asking. But the government had other plans. Today is the day, Pepe. I feel good about this. I believe in you, Madame. You're the best president we have. And uh, <laughs> you're our only hope. What did I tell you? A wild ride. Meanwhile, our friend Eddie had finally made up his mind. I could steal. <laughs> yes, 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 Reggie. Yes! <laughs> I could steal! Think about it. I could steal from parties, I could steal from stores, I could steal from anybody. <laughs> oh, this is great. I could literally go into someone's home and rob them! <laughs> oh, happy day! I could shoplift clothes, I could get one of those tag demagnetizers or whatever and just take anything I want. <laughs> oh, the question is, where do I start? He decided to start where any budding high-profile thief would, with a good old-fashioned mugging. Good idea. <laughs> Pepe. Yes, madame? I'm scared. What? Are you not also excited? Yeah, I, I guess I am a little excited. <laughs> good. It's best not to forget that. Oh, but Pepe, what should I do with this? You should absolutely not bring that with you. But Pepe, it's... Football. Yes, exactly. So, a president should always have her football? I mean, what if I want to start a war? <laughs> Let's not think about doing that today, guys. <laughs> I'll just take that. Uh, you wouldn't want this when you met the terrorist leader. Oh, right. Sorry, totally forgot about that part. The reason why this was such a big day for Wanda was because she had set up a meeting with the leader of the Midwest Firecrackers. In just a few hours, Wanda would be sitting down with the infamous Nancy Chaos. No, Pepe, you know the rules. Mama's got to have her football. No, I'll just, I'll just carry it with me. Right. Uh, would you like me to get the car? You know, it's such a beautiful day. Let's walk. At this very same time, our friend Eddie was setting up for his first ever mugging. He was on the street hiding behind a dumpster. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I was literally inside of a dumpster getting ready to mug somebody. Oh, did I really think that this would make me happy? Oh, and again, what would make me happy? Is it possible for me to be happy? Why wouldn't anyone love me? <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in Eddie's life, he threw all of his doubts aside. He sprang up from that dumpster and gave the President of the United States a good, hard whack on the head. <laughs> For not the first time in Eddie's life, he was completely horrified by his actions and wondered why he did that. <laughs> why, did I, why did I do that? Oh no. Oh no, 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 this is not good, not good at all. Oh, why did I just do that? For what? This huge briefcase! I wonder what's in it. That's not the point! <laughs> no, no, I, I just clobbered this one in the head. I didn't. Hey, still alive, good. <laughs> uh, good start. 
<laughs> I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> this was actually all a huge relief to Nancy Chaos because she had never figured out how she was going to go from Pepe, the president's trusty assistant, to Nancy Chaos, bringer of evil. And she also left the president just lying there, which she kind of felt bad about, but then reminded herself that if you run a national terrorist organization, you can't really feel bad about the people that you wrong. If I run a national terrorist organization, I suppose I can't feel bad for those that I wrong. <laughs> it's just like Mama said. If I do, then I guess I just ain't that strong. <laughs> if she did, she just ain't that strong. So she decided to return to Wanda, but not as Pepe, as Nancy Chaos. Oh, Pepe, is that you? What? Uh, no. Why would it be? It is I, Nancy Chaos. <laughs> and uh, don't you recognize me? Oh, right, the terrorist. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to me? Uh, you got hit on the head. Pretty hard, it seems. And in the process, you crushed all my dreams. What are you talking about? What dreams? Your dreams are to blow up the world. Oh, God, where is the football? What do you mean? You must have hit it in somewhere. Show me now, or I'll cut off your hair. You think I know where it is? Oh, when I find that runt who stole America's dreams of not getting blown up? <sighs> but I will. Find out where you hid it, and you will explode. That's legitimate. What <laughs> have you done? I don't know. I am the president of the United States, and that briefcase you stole held the nuclear code. If you don't return to me right now, oh, I will personally ensure that you blow up. Oh. oh well, I mean, hopefully it will all be okay. 